This is a huge day for not just the Royal Air Force but for the UK as a whole. Uh, we've been 10 years without a maritime patrol aircraft, so getting the P-8 Poseidon delivered, and not only just delivered, but delivered where we're pretty much ready to do business with it, is an enormous achievement. Again, not just for the Air Force, but for the whole partnership, including Boeing. We've done this hand in glove with the company, and we'll continue to develop and deliver the capability hand in glove with the company, which is a very exciting partnership as we go forward. I've been flying the P8 for the last uh, seven and a half, almost eight years. Uh, to bring one back to the UK and land in Mauritius at Kinloss was, uh, was outstanding. Quite emotional actually, it was, uh, it was beautiful. Uh, we were obviously flanked by the two typhoons, which was something else. So, lovely to come back to Mauritius. Eleven of us went across in uh, 2012. We became embedded in the US Navy, uh, learned to fly and operate the aircraft, and then to teach on the aircraft. So we've been teaching US Navy, uh, Royal Australian Air Force, and recently in the last uh, year or so, 120 Squadron, uh, the British Royal Air Force. So that's, that's been a real joy to teach our own. And now we're coming back here to continue that training. This is the next chapter for the Royal Air Force in our maritime patrol and anti-submarine warfare. We, we had a long and proud history with the Nimrod, which ended 10 years ago, and, and the arrival of Poseidon today is that leap forward that we've been waiting for. So the long-term home for Poseidon will be over at RAF Lossiemouth, where there's a huge programme of, of work going on, hundreds of millions of pounds worth of investment in the infrastructure and the site and, and the, the operating surfaces, the runways. And it'll be the home to hundreds of people when the force is fully built up by the, uh, by the end of next year. You know, we've got a huge amount to look forward to there and it's, it's a continuation of the long and very proud history of maritime patrol operations in this part of the world.